Hello everyone, welcome back. This is your coach Sanjeet and you're going to work out with me for the next 30 minutes. Okay, so in this workout, we are going to target our whole core conditioning and this is going to help you to build your endurance as well, right? Now, what I want that you follow my instructions all the time. Whenever you need any scale down movements, I will show you the scale down as well. You can follow that as well. Now, those who have started their fitness journey, you please make sure that you be in your pace and follow your body as well. Okay, now without wasting time, let's jump to the warm up. In the warm-up, we have total 4 movements. Each movement we are going to perform for 30 seconds and total 2 rounds. Yeah? Now, the first movement is going to be your arm circles that is going to activate your shoulders. So, how it's going to be done? You have to stand tall. You are going to move your arms in a circular motion. Forward 3 times. Backward 3 times. We follow the same pattern for the next 30 seconds. 3, 2, 1 and let's go. Three, three, two, one. One, two, three, three, two, one. Amazing. Follow the same pattern for the next few more seconds. This will help you to activate your shoulder. Last few more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. The next movement is called child pose to cobra pose. So you're going to fold your legs and sit over there. Now what I want that you extend your arms and take a child pose. From here you're going to arch your back, look towards the ceilings and then again sit back, push the ground, push your hip back. Clear? Let's get ready for the next 30 seconds. 3, 2, 1 and start. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, exhale, carry on. This will help you to activate your core muscles and your back as well. Last few more seconds and stop. Great work. The next movement called a uh, squat T spine rotation. So, what I want. That first of all, you open your feet according to your comfort zone, shoulder width or more than shoulder width, wherever you can take a deep squat position. Do slightly pointing outwards and sit down fully. Keep your hands down. Your elbows should be pushing your knees at the same time. Rotate your upper body, look towards your palm. Whenever you're performing this movement, keep your feet flat. Don't raise your heels up. Okay, let's get ready. Three, two, one, and start. Exhale at the same time. This will improve your low body mobility right now. This will help you to activate your adductors, your glutes and your ankle as well a little bit. Last few more seconds. As you are rotating your upper body, this will help you to activate your scapulas as well. And start. Great work. Now. The movement called standing ape reach. So you're going to protract your shoulders and retract your shoulders. How it's look like. So we'll start from down. Again, take a deep squat. Touch your knuckles. Touch your chin to the chest and engage your scapulas by stretching your arms forward. Then you have to stand tall and open your arms. Again, sit and then stand tall. Okay, let's go for the next 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. Sit down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I want you to stretch your arms forward whenever you're going down. Whenever you're coming up, open your arms, retract your shoulder blades. Last few more seconds. And stop. Amazing, guys. One round done, let's jump to the second round. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, three, two, one. Come on. Increase your speed a little bit. Three, 
activate your shoulders nicely last few more seconds we have last three two one and stop great walk child pose to cobra pose fold your legs sit down three two one let's go inhale cobra exhale child pose whenever you're performing this movement push your hip back whenever you're going for the child pose and push the ground whenever you arching your back whenever you're taking cobra inhale and aware of the engagement on your low back last three two one and stop great walk we go for the deep squat t-spine rotation go in a deep squat let's get ready three two one and start push your knees with the help of your elbows at the same time last few more seconds we have great job try to rotate your upper body as possible as you can and stop great work standing a breach let's get ready starting in three two one and stop protract your shoulder blades retract your shoulder blades last few more seconds last one and stop amazing guys great work now let's start the main workout in the main workout total we have four movements each movement would be of 30 seconds and there would be a 20 seconds breather we're going to prepare yourself for the next exercise as well and you can recover yourself as well okay now let me tell you what is the first movement as you have done standing a bridge now let's perform a bridge so this is an animal flow movement that will help you to strengthen your lower body and then will help you to improve your ankle stability as well let me show you so you're going to be in a deep squat you will stretch your arms forward then you have to come on the ball of the foot and open your arms again get down come on the ball of the foot and then open your arms clear so this is going to help you to improve your ankle stability your lower body strength and obviously your upper body mobility as well okay so how it's look like from the side profile let me show you stretch and come up this way clear let's go for 30 seconds starting in three two one and start proper come on your ball of the foot have a nice balance nice and easy you'll observe a nice engagement and nice stress on your quads whenever you're coming up hold for at least one second and then again you can go down last few more seconds and stop amazing now the next movement called mountain climber okay so for that you're going to place your palm right below the shoulder you will take a high plank position and you have to run forward you will bring your knee toward your chest without touching your foot on the ground okay let's get ready starting in three two one and go keep running Keep pushing the ground don't raise your hip up avoid this movement nice and easy last few more seconds we have 
Last three, two, one, and stop. Great work. The next movement called prisoner get up. So prisoner get ups is just like you have to stand tall. That will help you to strengthen your core muscles and your lower body. What I want that you keep your hands behind. Either keep your hands forward wherever you want, but you have to first of all keep your one foot forward then other foot and then stand tall and then drop your knees again and you have to keep repeating the same exercise okay now whenever you're coming up first if you're using your right then second time i want you to use your left clear alternate we will use let's get ready starting in three two one and start one stand tall then you have to drop your knees then use your left leg to come up keep your core muscles tight nice and easy don't hunch don't round your back core muscles should be tight this way very good go for the left to right right to left nice and easy last few more seconds three two one and stop amazing guys now the next movement is going to help you to improve your upper body strength and that is called a hand release push-ups okay hand release push-ups is it's going to be a progressive for those those who really want to progress in their push-ups so you will lie down on your stomach keep your hand closer to the chest be on the ball of the foot elbow should be in whenever you're pushing the ground i want you to keep your core muscles tight lift your chest and hip together and then drop okay if you find difficult be on your knees whenever you're coming up let's get ready starting in three two one and start exhale whenever you're coming up contract your chest keep your core muscles nice tight Last few more seconds. Last one. And stop. Amazing guys. Okay. I hope you got the movement. Okay. Now, this was the first round. That's what we have done. So in this round, you learned and you have executed the movement well. Then you can increase the intensity. As first of all, I want that you get the movement, get the mechanism. understand the muscle engagement and then increase the intensity if you need a sip of water you can have we'll start in few seconds we'll start from the a preach starting in 3 2 1 let's go Inhale, exhale. Try to come on the ball of the foot. Engage your quads nicely. Engage your scapulas whenever you're opening your hands. Last one. Hold and stop. Great work. Mountain climbers, recover yourself. while doing your mountain climbers guys see the intensity is upon you how uh, great you are doing over there if you finding your core is getting big just hold okay 3 2 1 and start keep running forward push the ground come on last few seconds if you're almost there guys come on don't stop you can hold the position but don't drop your knees and stop amazing guys great work recover yourself it's an easy make sure that you keep your chest upright 
whenever going to perform prisoner get ups. Three, let me show you how it's look like side profile. Three, two, one and start. Keep moving. Last few more reps. Make sure guys that whenever you're coming up, you keep your core muscles tight, you push the ground to come up. Amazing. Great work. Hand release push-ups. Now here you have a breather. Recover yourself nicely because whenever you're performing a hand release push-ups, I want you to focus as well on your chest whenever you're pushing the flow and keep your core muscles tight for the better stability. Let's go. Starting in three, two, one and start. Last few more seconds guys, please make sure that you don't arch your back while pushing the ground. Lift your chest and hip together. Last few more. One more. And stop. Great walk. Amazing guys. So two rounds done. You did excellent job till now. I want you to sustain with me for the few more rounds and few more minutes. Come on. We are going to start again or a breach. Recover yourself nicely. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Just move your body. Last few more seconds. Two more. One more. Stop. Great work. Shake your legs. As you shake your legs, you'll release some stress from your quads because while doing your mountain climbers, your lower body strength also requires whenever you're pushing to come forward. Let's go. Starting in three, two, one. Let's start. Make sure that you keep your shoulder and your wrist in one line. Don't keep your hip up. If you're finding it difficult to bring your knees forward, just hold for a while and then again start. But don't drop your knees guys, come on. Last round, give the best one. Few more, three, two, one, stop. Excellent job. I hope you're not tired, <laughs> right? Make a fool to your mind that this is just the first round. Let's go. Three, two, one, start. Whenever you're standing tall, imagine you're pushing the flow by keeping your chest proud. Few more. One more. Stop. Excellent work. We go for the hand release push ups. We're starting in a few seconds. Take a position. Three. Two, one, let's go. Guys, count your push-ups and 
comment that how many push-ups you have done in that 30 seconds come on come on guys come on push yourself we almost there few more counts two more one more and stop excellent job crazy recover yourself guys have a sip of water take a deep breath now we move to the next part so here guys I think that this would be your favorite movement and the movement called foot fires right so what you have to do that you have to push your hip back tap your ball of the foot harder and faster I want you to generate some music with your feet okay let's get ready 20 seconds but let me tell you the second movement as well so we won't waste time to learn or to you know summarize that so sprawls that is the second movement stand tall come forward take a partial squat place your palm jump back jump forward and stand tall okay that is a sprawl so 20 seconds each movement 10 seconds breather to prepare the movement and total three rounds okay let's get ready starting in three two one let's go tap ball of the foot harder faster almost there more speed three two one stop sprawls come forward starting in three two one bring it on 20 seconds let's try to perform at least six or more than six and stop great work recover yourself one round done two more to go starting in three two one and start relax your upper body hit your ball of the foot on the floor nice and easy but a little bit more faster three two one and start ah amazing shake your legs get your breath three two one start keep breathing guys don't hold your breath those who are started starting their fitness journey you listen to your body you push yourself accordingly those who are regular I want you to challenge yourself stop amazing we go for the last one recover yourself starting in three two one start faster last two seconds three two one and stop ah, amazing oh. go for the sprawls three two one let's go last few more seconds you're almost there one more and stop great work excellent job guys 
amazing. I hope you have enjoyed this HIIT part. And I hope you understand what is HIIT. High intensity interval training, right? <laughs> okay. So recover yourself, catch your breath, have a sip of water, then we'll start over, cool down. Take a deep breath. Once you feel good, have a sip of water. Now, stretching exercise. The first one called single leg quad stretch. So what I want that you lie down on your stomach and you fold your one leg, okay? And then hold for the next 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. You will observe a nice stretch on your quadriceps. You can keep your hands down. Keep breathing, try to touch your heel to the glutes. Relax your body. Last three, two, one, and stop. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Fold your legs. Three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds. I want you to touch your glute muscles with your heels if possible so you can have a better stretch on your quadriceps. We are almost there, keep holding, don't leave it. Last few more seconds, 3, 2, 1, stop. Amazing. Now forward bend. So keep your legs straight, bring your both hands forward and hold. If you're not able to hold, you can hold your shin. Try to pull your feet. If you're able to hold your feet, try to pull so you can have a better stretch on your calf muscles. This will release all the stress from your hamstrings, from your calves and this will improve your spine mobility as well. If you're having a pain on your back, you can hold on your shin. Three, two, one and stop. Amazing guys. Now we go for the frog stretch. So this frog stretch, what I want, first of all, that you keep your knees right below your hip and open your knees as wider as possible and push your hip back. Okay, let me show you how it's look like side profile. So open your knees push your hip back this way okay let's go starting in three two one and go you will observe a nice stretch on your glutes and your especially your hip joints this is going to improve your hip mobility this will increase the range of motion of doing squats or if you really want to get the deep squat this is a best stretching exercise you can say that exhale and push your hip back last three two one and stop slowly slowly reset your position fold your legs lift your elbows up and pull it downwards tricep stretch i want you to observe a nice stretch on your triceps pull it down hold it for the next 20 seconds keep breathing pull last few more seconds three two one switch other side Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. 
two, one, and stop. Amazing, relax. Straighten your legs, stand tall, shake your legs, shake your whole body, and clap for yourself, guys. You did an amazing job. You killed it, right. Okay, see guys, so there were the movements, like animal flow movements, which might be new for you so what i want that you learn that movement and then you execute in a right way in the right form okay because that is going to help you a lot to improve your ankle stability or to improve your low body strength okay so keep learning and keep doing it in the right way right now with that note please make sure that you share your valuable feedback on our facebook community stronger together with curl fit home with that note right now and signing off this is your sanjeet see you in the next session for more such workout videos download the calfit app now also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel we are cult